Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a quadratic equation one of whose roots is given. We have z squared minus kz plus 29 equals 0 and one of the roots of this quadratic equation is 5 plus bi where b is a real number. Now we're going to find the k values and the b values and I'll be presenting two methods. First method. Since one of the roots of this equation is given and the root satisfy the equation, let's go ahead and plug it in. Replace z with 5 plus bi. And that's supposed to give us 0, right? Let's go ahead and expand everything and arrange the terms. And now we're going to be looking for k and b values. I'm going to go ahead and rearrange these terms. By the way, I got b squared i squared from here, which I turned into negative b squared because i squared is negative 1. Remember that? So let's go ahead and arrange the real and imaginary parts. Since we have 0 on the right hand side, we're going to go ahead and set the real and imaginary parts both equal to 0. And from here we get a system of equations. And I just factor out the b. And this basically gives me two equations, which is a system. And then if you look at the second equation, it's obviously easier to solve. So from here we get b equals 0 or k equals 10. We're going to look at each case. And let's go ahead and start with b equals 0. If b is equal to 0, then from here by substitution from the first equation, we get k equals 54 over 5. So let's go ahead and take a look at this result. If I plug in the k value, we get z squared minus 54 over 5 plus 29 equals 0, and z sub 1 is equal to 5 plus bi. Now, b is 0, so that means z sub 1 is equal to 5, and the question is, is 5 a solution to this equation? Let's go ahead and plug it in. If b is equal to, I mean z sub 1 is equal to 5, it should satisfy this, right? 25 minus 54 over, by the way, there's a z here, right? Because that's kz. Uh, 54 over 5 times 5 plus 29. The 5 cancels out. 25 plus 29 is equal to 54 minus 54. That should equal 0. So yes, z sub 1 equals 5 satisfies this equation. But what about the other solution, right? Let's go ahead and take a look at the other solution. So we can basically do the following. Let's multiply both sides of this equation by 5. We get 5z squared minus 54z plus 145 equals 0. And by using the quadratic formula, we get z equals 54 plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, which is going to give us actually 20 times 145 and that is all divided by 2 times 5 which is 10. Now remember one of the roots of this equation is 54 over 5 or the k value is 54 over 5 one of the roots is actually 5 right. So we should be getting 5 from here which means that the numerator must be 50 for one of these values right. So how could that be happening for example 54 plus minus something equals 50 right so it could be 54 plus something equals 50 in this in which case inside the question mark we're supposed to have a negative 4 but that's a radical it can't be negative so we have to have a minus sign which means 54 minus something equals 50 and that just indicates that we have a 4 here so this whole thing needs to equal 4 so that we can get a 5 as a solution. And that gives us z equals 54 plus minus 4 divided by 10. And we know that one of them is 5, 54 minus 4 divided by 10. But what about 54 plus 4 divided by 10? 
that should be 58 over 10 which could also be written as 29 over 5 as the other solution okay all right let's go ahead and take a look at the second case the second case is where b does not equal 0 but where k is equal to 10. Now, if k is equal to 10, our equation becomes z squared minus 10z plus 29 equals 0. And from here, obviously, you can easily solve this equation, right? The roots are going to be 5 plus 4i and 5 minus 4i, which tells you that the b value is either 4 or negative 4. Actually, that's supposed to be not 4, uh, 2 because it's square is supposed to be a 4, 25 plus 4, right? That's what it is. So from here, we basically get plus minus 2 for b. Make sense? Okay, great. So that kind of gives us a quicker way to do it if b does not equal 0. Now, that's the first method. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method to solve this problem. Our second method is going to be a little bit more interesting, I think, in my opinion. We're going to be using Vieta's formulas. Now, Vieta's formulas gives us the relationship between the coefficients of a polynomial equation and its roots. So, for example, if you have a quadratic equation, then the sum of the roots is supposed to be negative b over a, and the product is supposed to be c over a, where b is the coefficient of z, a is the coefficient of z squared, and c is the constant. But in this case, a is equal to 1, this is the leading coefficient. So we can basically write these relationships as negative b and c. And b is negative k. So in this case, z1 plus z2 is just going to be the opposite of negative k, which is k. Make sense? Great. What about z1 times z2? z1 times z2 is supposed to be c, which is 29. Now here's one thing that you should keep in mind. If z sub 1 is equal to 5 plus bi, and it's a complex number, then its conjugate is supposed to be, I mean, did I say conjugate? Yes, the, its conjugate is supposed to be the other solution, or the other solution must be the conjugate of z sub 1. In other words, z sub 2 is supposed to be the conjugate of z sub 1, which can be written as 5 minus bi. Now, why is this happening? Because when you multiply a complex number by its conjugate, you always get a real number. And when you add them, you also get a real number because the imaginary parts cancel out. Make sense? That's how we're able to get these two real values. Did I say k is a real number? I hope I did. So let's go ahead and solve this problem now. We do know z sub 1 and z sub 2. So let's go ahead and add them. 5 plus bi plus 5 minus bi is equal to 10. So that's equal to k. Great. k is equal to 10. What about the product, z sub 1 and z sub 2? Their product is supposed to be 5 plus bi times 5 minus bi. And as you know, this product is a real number. It's the sum of two squares. Remember that? a plus bi and a minus bi, when multiply gives us a squared plus b squared. So 5 squared plus b squared. But that's equal to 29, and from here we get b squared equals 4 because 5 squared is 25, and that gives us b equals 2 or b equals negative 2 as before. So that basically gives us the b values, the solutions, the k value for which these solutions are valid. What about the other case where we got real solutions? That's something to think about, and... This brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.